Let's get on to our next film. What's it about, Nicole? Well, it's about flashbacks and it's called The Script. Where's your script? I've not done it. Why not? I've just not done it. I haven't, haven't even got an excuse. No. I'm sick and tired of this nonsense. You've had since last year to get this completed and you haven't even started it yet. If you want to fail your exams, then this is the right way to go about it. What is the matter with you? Nothing. What about all the money that your mother's spending on your education? You're just flushing it down the toilet. No, Mum. Just listen, I've just seen your report card. I'm not paying all of that money for you to go to a private school in England. Just look at your media grades. I don't expect to come home and have you shouting at me all the time. I might as well just stay in England. It's just not good enough. I'm considering sending you to the all-girls school. Pete House School what? in Zimbabwe? I don't want to go to an all-girls school. If your grades don't improve, that will be it. Have I made myself clear? Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, see how red your face went. Yeah, I know. Why don't you just do a script? Everyone else has managed to do it. Yeah, well, maybe I'm not as intelligent as everybody else. Well, everybody else is social life doesn't come first. Anyway, I'll see later what I'm going to do. That's a bit harsh. Slightly. Can for five? Yeah, I need one. So funny tonight, I just found out that somebody's been super gluing the whole of the sixth form area. <laughs> like they've super glued lab's locker and they've been super gluing windows, bins to windows. And, <laughs> oh, so funny. But anyway, how's your work going? How's your script? Um, yeah, it's alright. It's going really badly. I, um, we got it last year and um, we were meant to hand it in a couple of days ago. And um, I just haven't because I can't think of anything to write. I like put it off, and now Mr. Bates is going absolutely mental at me, and I just want to get him off the back, I suppose. But I'm so much to write that. I've just got to be more than that, haven't you? No, it's just that this happened at my last school. All the teachers started getting on my back, and they threatened to tell um, my parents and stuff in here. They're saying that they're going to ring them up and get them to come into school and speak about me and stuff. And I just don't want to let them down again. Well, why? What happened last time? It's just that I... I... Come in. Oh, Lisa, sit, sit down. Oh. Hi, sweetheart. What's wrong? Sit down. I've discussed it with the headmaster. There is no other solution. I've decided to send you to a boarding school in England. Why? It's the only way. Your grades are not good enough. Well, You're not, not, not working at all. hard enough. Elisa, just listen to what your mother's got to say. It is. It's a chance. I'm going to give you another chance at a boarding school. Mum, I don't want to leave here. You're going. I'm sorry. That must have been pretty tough. Yeah, it was. The thing is, I just don't want to let Mum and Dad down again, because they don't deserve that. But I just don't know what I can write about. I mean, have you got any ideas or anything? Mm. You can write it on something you're interested in, a hobby. Yeah, no, no, no. Do it on your family, but everyone does that. Personal experience, you can do it on something that, like an experience you've been through. I will. So, I don't know, like something that's happened to you sometimes, something that, you know. I could do actually. Like, something I can relate to, something that's happened like in school or something. Mm. Yeah, it'll probably work. 
Anyway, I'm going to have to go to bed because I'm so tired and I've got this thing. Bates first thing in the morning, so I'm just going to have to be. Anyway, I hope I've helped you and I'll see you in the morning. Okay. Night, night. Uh. Alisa. Yeah. Have you thought about what I said yesterday? Yeah, I have actually. Have you started your script? No, I've finished it. I can type it in if you want. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Come in. Hi, sir. Hello there. I was just wondering if you looked at my script. Yes. Was it any good? Well, actually, it was very good, yeah. Really? I'm surprised, yeah. Got it here for me. All right. You can start filming it next week if you like. Oh, brilliant. Okay, thanks a lot, sir. Oh, Lisa. Yeah. Um, I have to say I'm quite pleased. I'd never thought you'd get it finished. Okay. Okay. Well done. Thanks, sir. Nicole, uh, why are flashbacks such an important technique? Well, flashbacks in a movie are supposed to take us back so we can fully understand what's happening in the present. And in the first flashback, which took place in the classroom, I was providing information that us as the audience wouldn't otherwise know. It takes us back in time so we can fully understand the character's present situation. That's why in my first flashback in the classroom, I took you back into an aspect of the character's background giving you a more personal side of her, telling you that even in the past, she wasn't working as hard as she should have been. In the second flashback in the bedroom, it's to give us a more visual image of what she was talking about, rather than her describing it through speaking. So, Nicole, why did you use a dissolve? Is there any reason for this, other than any other techniques? Well, actually, I'd experimented on various methods on my film before choosing the dissolve. What were those methods you tried, though? I tried the slow fade in and the fade out. I tried a white, I even tried a white flash. But for my particular film, I found the dissolve to be the most effective. Yeah, I believe so. Thank you for that, Nicole. That was very interesting. 